Hello there and welcome to this series of videos going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at integrating by substitution so we can answer the harder questions from exercise 11e. So let's get started then. So roughly the same techniques as we've been seeing in the first video which is going to make them a little bit more difficult here. Uh, using the substitution u equals 3x squared plus 5 calculate the integral of x bracket 3x squared plus 5 all to the power of 4. So let's go ahead and do that then. So first of all we substitute in u for 3x squared plus 5. We've still got this x though at the front. So let's see how that might simplify. But first things first, I think I'll change the dx and see if anything happens at this point here. So differentiate your substitution and then rearrange onto the other side. And you now get dx equaling 1 sixth x 1 sixth x du, and when we substitute that in for dx, what we're going to see here is that the x's, one on the top, one on the bottom of a fraction, are going to simplify with each other. So what you'll sometimes find is that there'll be a factor at the front that will only cancel out when you do your du dx substitution. So in this case, it's just now going to be a sixth integral of u to the power of 4. Integrate that, increase the power by 1, divide by the new power, that's a 30th u to the power of 5 plus c, and substitute your substitution back in. It's going to be 1 30th bracket 3x squared plus 5, all to the power of 5 plus c. There we go, that's not too bad then. So the key bit for this question here was seeing that the factor at the front of the integral cancels out when you do the du by dx part. Okay, the next part here is to uh, integrate using a substitution of sine x plus 1 to calculate the integral cos x sine x bracket 1 plus sine all to the power of 3. So <clears throat> let's get uh, the, the 1 plus sine x substituted in. So you will substitute for the bracket there. And we've still got two integrating, or not integrating factors, but two factors at the front that will need cancelling out at some point. So the first thing I might do here is uh, differentiate the substitution. And in that case, we see that dx is equal to 1 over cos x du. So substitute that in, and we'll see that the cos x's cancel each other out. Now what we'll have left, we've still got this factor of sine x at the front. So we've got sine x u to the power of 3. But what we can do then is use our substitution again rearrange it a little bit to work out what sine x is equal to in terms of u, and then substitute that in. So take u equals 1 plus sine x, take away 1 from both sides, and replace sine with u minus 1. So that's going to be replaced with u minus 1. Expand your brackets, integrate, substitute back in, there's your answer. Okay, so in this question here, we're going to be using the substitution u equals 1 plus sine x to calculate the integral of pi by 2 to 0 cos x root 1 plus sine x dx, particularly looking at what's happening to these boundaries here and here. Now, in this case here, this is the order we're going to do things in. We actually don't need to substitute the, the um, substitution back in at the end if we change the limits just after we've corrected the integral for dx and before we calculate the integral. Let me show you what I mean by this. So first things first, obviously it's substitute u in. u is 1 plus sine x, so u will be in that square root. Then we'll replace the dx. So differentiate your substitution, and we've got 1 over cos x du. So those cos x's will cancel each other out. So we're now just left with this thing here. But remember that these boundaries that we have here are x boundaries, they're not u boundaries. So we need to now replace these two boundaries here with actual boundaries in terms of the letter u. And how do we do that? Well, once again, everything is through our substitution here. So u is equal to 1 plus sine x. When x is equal to pi by 2, substitute it into this formula. Sine of pi by 2 is... Um, is 1, so 1 plus 1 will be 2, so the top boundary is 2, and for the substitution x equals 0, u is going to equal 1, so in fact these boundaries change to 2 and 1 on the top there, and now all of this integral here is with respect to u, 
At this point here, we still had x boundaries, which will have not given us the correct answer um, had we substituted them into the integral for u to the power of half. So, in this case here, we are going to increase the power by 1, divide by the new power, and just substitute 2 and 1 in. So in this case here, this is our final answer, 2 thirds, bracket, 2 root 2, minus 1. So notice here how we never needed to actually substitute 1 plus sine x back in again. All we needed to do was to just change the boundaries, and we can substitute it into u. OK, your turn to have a go at these two questions here. They're pretty difficult, they're pretty long, so do persevere through them. Do leave the video on pause for a little while. Um, but try your best. Um, it is a sign substitution for the first one here. It doesn't quite look like it to start with, but it is. Um, and then this second one here is a cos substitution. Try and think about how you might pull cos out of sine cubed. Pause the video and try these two questions out. Right then, OK, let's start working on this left-hand integral here then. So it's going to be 1 plus u over cos x dx. Next step probably is to sort out this dx component here. So the derivative of our substitution is cos. And in this case here, it's going to be dx equals 1 over cos du. Now in this case here, it's going to be 1 plus u over cos squared x, because we've got two multiples of cos on the bottom, times du. Now what we can do is we can change cos squared into 1 minus sine squared. So 1 plus u over 1 minus u squared du. Where did the u squared come in? Well, u is sine, it's 1 minus sine squared, so that's 1 minus u squared. The next thing we do here is we will factorise the bottom, so 1 plus u over 1 plus u, 1 minus u. Cancel out the 1 plus u's on the top and the bottom. And now all we're doing is we're integrating 1 over 1 minus u, du. And in this case here the answer is going to be minus ln 1 minus u plus c. Let's put an equal sign there. And we need to now substitute our um, letter in. So it's going to be minus ln 1 minus sine x plus c. OK, so there we are. That's all we have to do for that question there then. Let's um, get on to the second one here then. So it's sine cubed um, where u is cos x. Now, how are we going to pull out a cos from this function here. Well, we can treat sine as sine x times sine squared x, and then replace sine squared with 1 minus cos squared, just like this. So now we can put u in. We've now got sine x, 1 minus u squared, dx. We still haven't sorted out this dx at the back yet, so let's do that now. du by dx is equal to minus sine x. So in that case, dx is going to equal minus 1 over sine x du. So let's put that in. It's going to be sines will cancel out 1 here, 1 here. So it's going to be minus bracket 1 minus u squared du. So this is going to be u squared minus 1 du. Increase the power by 1, divide by the new power. It's going to be a third u to the cubed minus uh, u plus c. And substituting cos back in, we're going to get a third cos cubed x minus cos x plus c. There we are, that's the answer to that question there then. So practice lots of these from exercise 11e. There's generally um, lots of a good variety of questions in this exercise here and lots of difficult challenging ones as well. So have a practice of these. Once you've got good at them, it's really enjoyable to, to um, 
to do these integrals uh, by substitution. So, thanks very much for watching.